Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be installing an Edge Insight CTS3, the brand new one, on a Chevrolet Duramax. All right, um, the CTS3 is out for 2020. Really excited about this. Edge chose us to be a beta tester for it, and um, we are doing a series of videos on this. So we have done an unboxing video. We're going to link you to that inside of this video. We're also going to link you to our uh, comparison video that we have for you guys that already own an Edge Insight CTS-2 or the original CTS, maybe you wanna to upgrade to CTS-3 so we did a comparison for you guys so you can and look at the difference in the features. Now what we wanna do is we want to be doing a installation video and I'm going to continually try to update you through the process of this. This is going in my daily driver so I'll, I'll know, you know how it functions uh, and whatnot. My personal interaction with an Insight, our truck that Adam and I travel in to around the country to the shows has got a CTS-2 in it so we get a lot of seat time inside of that truck so uh, familiar with the device, familiar with its functionality. but. Now being in my daily driver is going to give me uh, a really good idea to be able to give to you guys, to the consumers, what I like about it, what we don't like about it, and what they fix. Now, again, we're in the beta program. Edge may come out and fix some of this stuff. If there are any problems, probably won't be, but they may make some changes to the packaging or whatnot. So anything that you see in any of these videos leading up to the official launch of this may change. If it does, we'll keep you, uh, we'll keep you up on all of those details. So. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with this installation. We're going to do this installation just a little bit different. The Insight is plugged into the OBD2 port, mounted inside your cab, and it's ready to go. We're going to do a little bit different. Um, not going to spend a lot of time on running the wire through the cab and whatnot. Since it's only one wire, we don't have any EAS. Uh, any EAS uh, modules that we're gonna be running with this. This is just the sensor only. I'm not gonna be picking up EGT. I've already got other uh, gauges inside the truck to do that. So we're not gonna be doing on this. So we don't have a lot of wires to run here. But what we wanna do is we wanna show you the connectivity of the Insight to the computer. We want to show you getting it set up uh, and anything else that comes along there. We've already got functionality in, in some of our other videos, but we'll, we'll touch on a little bit of functionality here. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably hook up uh, the window mount maybe here on the side mirror and then uh, leave the key on so we'll hook through it. So I think it's what Adam and I are going to do. We're going to go ahead and get you set up here and then we'll show you connecting it to the truck and getting it set up. Really two basic components to an inside and this is true of the earlier models. It's, it's true of the CTS-3. So your insight screen itself and then the HDMI OBD2 cable. This is OBD2 port, connects to your OBD2 port. All of the uh, PIDs and information that you get from your ECM is transferred from the OBD2, stays plugged in all the time, and then it has an HDMI end on it, and the HDMI end hooks into the back of the screen here. Also inside of your package comes your mounting unit. You can put it on your windshield, uh, however you want to do that to mount it. So. Like I said, today what we want to talk about is connectivity, functionality, so on, and not going to drag you through all the crap that I'm going to have to do to run the wire through here. You know, most trucks, uh, your wire is going to come through here, down to your OBD2 port, tuck it away real nice and neat, and then put your inside in the, in, on the windshield. You've seen us do that several different things, so we're not going to bore you with those uh, details. If you saw this cord and you saw this little expansion port on the HDMI cord, this is your port for your incoming uh, EAS sensor. So your EAS daisy chain will be out underneath of the hood for whatever expansion sensors that you hook up. This is its inbound signal coming into the Insight. So let's just go ahead and hook everything up. What I'm gonna do here to get set up is I'll go ahead and hook it into our screen. All right. And then I'm going to go down and find the OBD2 port and just go ahead and hook it in. All right, then with your OBD2 port hooked in, it's just as simple as turn the key on to power it up. If your OBD2 has power to it, your Insight screen should come up. And we're going to walk you through everything and getting it set up for the vehicle that you're going to install it on. All 
All right. So we will do uh, gauges in logging. It's pulling the PID list from the vehicle. So it's already communicating with our ECM. It's already getting a list of available parameters that it can monitor. That you'll notice you uh, earlier insight guys, and I wasn't aware of this because this is the first time we've had it on a vehicle as well. Didn't ask us to choose Ford tuning, Chevrolet tuning, or uh, Ford parameters, Chevrolet parameters that already did, uh, did all of this. You have a tutorial screen that'll come up here. It'll show you how you can swipe left and right, up and down to choose other options. Kind of gives you a little quick rundown on that. I'm gonna go ahead and disable the tutorial screens. And there we are. We are hooked up. That's it, that's all it took. If you guys have used this before, you would have known <clears throat> that normally this would have taken, uh, this would have taken probably, you know, 30, 45 seconds to get connected to the ECM, but we're live right there. Uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, be honest with you, I didn't expect it to be this quick. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is Adam and I are gonna cut right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some parameters that I want to, I want to monitor set up. We're gonna set the uh, insight up outside the truck so we can get good video shots of it. Then we'll get the truck ready to where we can fire it up and we don't have as, so, as much noise inside of the camera to be able to show you this thing monitoring. All right, let's talk a little bit about the on-off functionality of the new Edge Insight CTS-3. And what I want to do is want to show you when it's going to power up for you, when it's not. Now, um, <clears throat> the power sequence into all the OBD-2s is probably not going to be the same, but I feel like this is going to be, uh, for a, a majority of the trucks, it should, should be set up this way. So <clears throat> right now I've got the key off on the truck. Um, if you wanted to check to see codes, if your truck wouldn't start, um, so wanted to talk about that. So right now, the way the, C the Insight CTS-3 is set up, key on in the truck, the Insight doesn't power up, okay? Start the truck. The Insight powers up. You've got your gauges, real-time monitoring, you're in good shape right there. Now, shut the truck off. Key out of it. ECM powers down there. It's probably three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, about eight seconds, something yeah. right up. It was 10, eight to 10. Eight to 10, power down, good to go. Don't have any draw on your battery. Now, <clears throat> you're wondering, if you don't, truck doesn't start, how am I gonna get access to my diagnostic capabilities with your insight? How do I read and clear code, so on. If you've got the ability for a key on here, you can get the insight to power up. Turn the key on in the truck, touch the screen. She powers up. We get to, we can do anything we want to. We can look at a gauge here, or we can pull up our diagnostic capabilities. I'm trying to do this upside down, and that wasn't the side I needed go here we can bring up our diagnostic capabilities we could potentially check the truck for codes so this wasn't as much about the functionality we just wanted to show you what the on off was like in this powers down fairly quickly with the key off powers down powers up very very quickly with key on truck running and you still have the functionality even with the truck is not running to be able to go in read and clear uh, diagnostic codes what we want to do now, getting started, is we want to show you setting up your uh, your gauges on the Insight CTS-3. This is kind of the, the aesthetics portion of this, and there is a lot to this. You can change colors, you can change layouts, you can change lots of different things, but just show you some functionalities. You get three saved layouts that you can have all the time to where you can scroll left and right and bring them up at any time. Any parameters inside of there that you want to do are available to you, but that's what the layout differences are. So what we can change here, we can change different wallpapers. I think there was nine different wallpapers here. We can change the different theme settings or we can edit the layout. Um, the theme settings is huge. This changes theme ch settings, changes colors, um, tick marks, so on. Lots of different things that you can, that you can work with here. You can uh, customize the alert zone color inside of this. So you will see, we'll walk through those gauges and see the gauges go from normal parameter 
uh, high and then uh, over, for lack of a word. You can change all of those colors inside of there. Change the tick marks. You can change the lettering color. You can change the unit's color. It's, it's, there's a lot to it. Um, you can go into the color editor there. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, so you will pick your colors here inside of this. So if you want your warning zone on one to not be yellow, you want it to be uh, purple, you can do that. So, all right, won't put a lot of time into that. Then uh, we can edit the layout. So there's 21 different actual layouts that you can that you can change from to have as your three quick layouts that you can choose from. So let's show you editing a layout here. This kind of gets a little bit tricky. So let's do my screen one. Uh, my screen one. I'm going to change this one. I'm going to change it to. Uh, I'm going to go with this layout right here. find something that's easy for you to read on the screen there. Let's do that one. That's a good one. So that one's going to be our <coughs> that one's going to be our uh, screen that we go with there. So we're going to um, click the uh, save button and then we can save this as a new layout. Just call it something, save it. And then we call it R so we load it, hit load, scroll down here till we find R select R. Do you want to select that as your current layout? There you go. Go back to the screen and now R will be one of our current layouts. There it is. So that's one of our three now. Lots of different parameters you can look at here. You guys that are tuners and you're looking to be able to switch through stuff and you don't want to look at a screen has got 80, you know, whatever, 16 different parameters on it. You just want a few. This is a good one. All right. Colors are on there. I'm gonna let Adam talk just a little bit about this because this really isn't my strong suit, but you can work inside of colors on these gauges and you can use the, what is it, Adam? The red groove. The RGB code. R RGB code. So you can, you can click a, uh, double click a, a gauge and I'll talk to you about changing through the gauges but the RGB um, so what you can do here is you can actually click into the color thing there yep and uh, bar color and you have these colors you can pick from but if you want to customize it and you like Tennessee orange which is yep. an obscure color yeah you can actually it's real easy to google RGB for Tennessee orange and you can go down here and pick it up and just set it yeah you just center it in Yep. I type in the three-digit code for each of those yep. and just go and it'll make it really easy. There you go. So, and see that changed the color already. Yep. So I'm just doing that. Cool. So we can hit save on that. Go back and she's good. Um, so now changing through parameters on the screen. This is the big one uh, right here. So you don't want engine coolant temperature in this uh, left-hand screen here. So we're gonna change this to uh, rail or let's, let's change it to boost. Let's see how they've got boost laid out here. Um, so boost right here. Let's change that. Save it. Now boost will come up. Then you can change the alerts on here and the thresholds as well. Uh, go back into the editor is uh, again the boost. So you can change your threshold. So your min value, your max value, uh, your LED count you can do as well. Then you can set your warnings up right here. When I, if I want this to go off at my high value of 32, uh, I can set that and save it. I can turn the sound on for that and that will turn everything on. So this is a really, really good way for you guys to set these parameters inside of your truck and help you to save from uh, you know, uh, engine coolant temperature getting up or speeds or anything of that nature can be changed that way and can be set up in that direction. So that's a basic tutorial of how to set up your screens for uh, monitoring your data in the truck. Want to add one addendum to this. When you're uh, changing through the PIDs on your gauges, there was a, a uh, and a, there was a basic set of PIDs which is going to come up and already going to be loaded once the Edge Insight connects to your ECM. But you can see this little grayed out tab for advanced PIDs. I already did this, but there are advanced PIDs, which is another sub level of parameters that you can watch inside of your truck. Each truck is different is what they allow. I've already pulled these and, and got them downloaded for this truck, but that just gives you even more parameters that you can watch on the screen. 
Another major tool for the Edge Insight is giving you the ability to read and clear diagnostic codes. How do you do that? All right, top screen, we're gonna pull it down and that's actually not it. I was just checking to make sure you all were paying attention. That is not where we wanna be. Our bottom screen is where we wanna be. I just did the gauge selector there, so I was still stuck on the top one, but my bottom set up here, so just swipe up. This gives you, if this was a evolution, this would be your tuning button, the diagnostics, performance tests, your EAS settings, and your overall settings for the uh, Insight. Let's go to diagnostics. I wanna read and clear the trouble codes. So I'm gonna go to trouble codes, key on in the truck, no trouble codes available. If we wanted to clear them, we clear them, continue, and there we go. That is how to read and clear your trouble codes. Inside of this screen, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about it right now. This has got the ability to monitor, because this is a Duramax truck, we can look at the injector balance rates. So we can go into diagnostics here. We can do injector balance rates. It will pull it up give us all eight injector balance rates on the screen at the same time. This was a really nice feature because in uh, in some of the other uh, units that we've seen like this, you had to uh, go through and select each balance rate and get them on the screen. But this is really nice. This makes it, gets it all in one, uh, all on one screen and really quick to get to. All right, let's talk about doing performance tests on your Insight CTS-3. So if you wanted to do like a zero to 60 test, we have that here. Uh, does zero to 60, zero to 100, quarter mile and eighth mile test. So just click on performance tests, scroll up, then click on performance test. Uh, so you can see you have zero to 60 to zero to 100, quarter mile test, eighth mile test, and then save tickets. Uh, let's do a, just show a quarter mile test. You'll pull it up. It'll tell you when to start uh, from stop. You can select from stop here and then it'll stage you uh, and you can set it up for drag tree if you want to. Uh, so we can start it, go with the green light, of course. You can stop it when you cross or stop from there, however you want to do it. But that's uh that's the uh, performance uh, test that you can do. Let's get out of there, exit. All right, good to go. Next thing we wanna talk about is your EAS setting screens. We do not have any EAS devices hooked up to this truck, but if they were hooked up, this would come up automatically. You could select those and then make any adjustments inside of those uh, if they are uh, hooked up. And then you have your overall settings of the device screen here. You can do help and info, you can do display settings, device colors, audio settings, re restore default PIDs, unit of measure. Some of this stuff you're gonna get uh, automatically, but um, if you, uh, you're inside the uh, gauge adjuster screen, excuse me, but if you wanna do it from this screen, you can as well. This is where your Wi-Fi setup is, is as well. So if you wanna do your, uh, put your email address in here uh, and get your, e your Wi-Fi password set up, you can do that as well. But one thing that we talked to you about in the uh, unboxing video is one of the nicest features about this uh, Insight CTS-3 is we can hook up to Wi-Fi and check for updates. If we got a good strong Wi-Fi wi signal, you can download your updates right from the Wi-Fi to this to this EAS Insight CTS-3. That is a really, really nice feature. You don't have to unhook it from the truck, take it in, especially you guys. That's a nice feature for you guys that build custom dashes. Some guys do custom dashes, put this in there and then they will want to have to take it out. With it being Wi-Fi, uh, you can just hook up to your Wi-Fi and get your updates that way. So this will take you through, you set your email address in here, your Wi-Fi password, so on, and then you are good to go. So this does your display, uh, brightness, nighttime thresholds, daytime thresholds, all of that is inside of there as well. And yeah. That's just about it. So alert settings, sounds are in here. Your sound setups are in here too. I thought that it was cool on the audio settings there. Uh, Adam and I looked at this as touch sounds. You can turn it off. It's kind of got a little toggle screen or toggle uh, switch there off and on. So really cool, nice setup. 
Let's talk about doing a data log here. Uh, another really, really nice feature of this. So let's just say you got something going on with your truck. You want to do a data log on the truck, drive it and, and, and recreate that and then get it in the data. The parameters that you have set up on your theme are going to be what is included in your log uh, to start recording, pull it top down, hit record, just like that. You'll see the red light comes on and it's recording. When you're ready to stop it, pull it back down, stop it and then it'll ask you if you want to save the recording. Yes, you do. Um, if you do, you have to save it by a name. Now, when you plug this into your desktop and you download the My Data Viewer from uh, Edge to be able to relook at the uh, to look at the log, uh, you will have to remove the unit from the truck to be able to extract the file from there. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put this inside of the truck and then we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle, let you show, uh, let it see the gauges real time, the speed of the interaction with the data coming from the ECM and just uh, the mounting itself inside the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this, in the, throw this in the dash and we'll be back to show you running truck with the InSight going. So we got her installed inside the truck. You can kind of see what you've got there, uh, you know, as it looks. This is where I liked it. I'm gonna play with it for a week uh, and then Adam and I will get back to you and we'll give you a little update video on what we like, what we did. I uh, really want to talk about the screen I set up with and what uh, parameters I put on. Adam and I were talking about that. We we're going to uh, try to let you know what we set up for our truck and, and, and what we're using day to day. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the new Edge Insight CTS3, uh, just give us a call, like, subscribe to our channel. Remember, you can link inside the screen here. We're going to link you to a button to buy the new Edge Insight CTS3. Upgrade your CTS2, buy an Insight if you've been thinking about it. The new one, this is a really, really nice device. Thanks for watching.